Hello everybody, Jacob back here for Canary Cast. Wow, finally. Oh wow, we've got a win. A win to speak about. Norwich City 2, Everton 1. And what a performance from Norwich. I mean, Everton were very poor. We'll go on to how, yeah, just how poor they were. But really, really well played today from the boys. We all came in. Not negative before against West Ham. Norwich weren't that bad. We're just so um, sure the quality needed. I think West Ham were a couple of gears kind of below what they could have been and still won quite comfortably in midweek. But these are the kind of games today at Cowra Road, which we have to go. It was very much similar to Southampton, but in that second half and forwards where we just kind of put everything into the game. So much effort and commitment. The press was really good. It kind of helped that Everton went 4 4 2 alongside what we did to kind of balance it up. And Norwich wanted it more, wanted it so much more. I could kind of smell that kind of determination from, from them rather than Everton, who who looked very, very short of quality. Josh Sargent kind of set the tone with his, with his non stop work rate. He's had a lot of criticism this season from us, from everyone, really, which is, is fine because he's, he is short of the quality needed in terms of being able to take a simple touch and finish at this level. But what cannot ever be um, kind of uh, criticised is his non-stop work rate. Came in for midweek, looked like we missed him really against West Ham. Just that work rate and energy he offers kind of knocked over the left back in the, in the first five minutes. The Everton left back and it just kind of again set that tone that we kind of wanted to keep going down that side. And that's where the first goal came from. Puts the ball in, dangerous ball into the box. Michael Keane's poor defending. He really shouldn't do it. Um, but those two defenders, Keane and Godfrey, are not good at defending low balls into their box. It goes past Pickford and finally we get a goal. It's, it's an absolute miracle. And then just as we're all so kind of <laughs> calming down for the celebration, we're back up on our feet again at Cow Road. Just celebrate like crazy. It's, the atmosphere was brilliant today, by the way. Yeah? Even before kickoff, you just feel, even though there's been some real low points in the minute, there was good, good noise. And that performance can only help help the kind of, you know, the belief really from players and, and fans just to be able to really put it in. And the way fans recently have been brilliant. I know they got criticised at Charlton. I was there myself. And I thought, yeah, at times it was sarcastic, but the performance levels were so poor against a, a 14th place League One side. I, I wasn't blaming my fellow fans. I, you can't really do much else when you're not having a single shot at goal. But today, so much more collective, so much better. That's what we want from our Norwich City team. It's not all always about, you know, winning every game. We know we're never going to get that kind of level at this, at, in this league. But put in 100% and these Norwich City fans will, will know what you've put in and you cannot question anyone today. It was absolutely fantastic. The second goal, Brandon Williams, fantastic work, lovely outside of the foot to pass. Bademida, his first touch is poor and he gets away with it because it's such a good opportunity. But the second touch to finish it, really, really calm. I remember it was kind of like the Brighton one with Josh Sargent a couple of months ago where his first touch is poor and then he has to kind of try and get it. It's not as poor as that one, but it's just the di slight differences there. I have personally always felt with Adam Eder, there's something there. That's not me trying to jump on a bandwagon now. I've said it before. He always has needed a loan to get those kind of those styles there because we know he can finish. We obviously saw on his on his FA Cup debut in those three goals against Preston. Yes, Preston were poor that day, but we could see that there was a natural finisher there. And he's just not had the opportunities. There have been injuries. There has been, you know, just opportunities where he hasn't taken them. But that's, he has still hasn't played or started 10 games yet in Norwich City in three years. So that's what I mean when I'm saying for a 20-year-old, he has to, had to really get out last season and get on loan and, and find himself. That hasn't happened. He is where he is now. West Ham, I thought he was very good. Obviously, he had that wonderful attempt against um, against Fabianski, who tipped onto the post. And I was so unlucky, just thinking, oh, if that goes in, that kind of starts him off. Today starts him off magnificently. After, a minute and 30 seconds after the first one, he scores that. And his whole confidence, his whole round game today was absolutely superb. I think Keane, Godfrey, and Mina in slightly the second half allowed him to bully or allowed him to bully them. But he went and did it anyway. Put his frame across. I've said it so many times to him. He's got so many good attributes. He's tall. He's strong. He's quick. And that's all you really need to be up front in this league. You need that physicality massively, especially if you're helping um, Timu Puki out, who hasn't got a physical side to his game. He is a lot more intelligent with his runs. Go and be a bit of a battering ram and help him. But he was so good with it. his touch. Was brilliant. He held up the ball fantastically and alleviated so much pressure today. And that's what we need from him going forwards. He looks a lot better in a two than up front on his own, which is fine. I think 4-4-2 against other teams 
he could struggle being overrun in that midfield. We'll go and talk about that in a minute. But uh, today, obviously, massively fine because Everton played exactly the same formation in that first half. It's slightly why we got overrun in the second when they, they tweaked things up and players were kind of getting in behind the, the midfield and just in front of the defence. But um, yeah, first half, absolutely magnificent. That's what we want, like I say. Those first 30 minutes were absolutely electrifying. The press... And obviously the moment with the two goals help and Norwich feel confident. But the, good, the passing today was actually a lot better, a lot, lot better than what we've seen for, for ages. I can't remember the last time Norwich actually were able to ping four or five passes together and just take advantage of a team being very slack. And that's such a good, good thing to see. Ida was brilliant. Like I said, definitely deserves man of the match today. Brandon Williams comes close with some magnificent tackles, some really good covering. Hopefully he'll be fine for next week against Watford. I think it was just a few more knocks rather than compared to Max who again is hopefully okay his foot was in a in a kind of um, boot but hopefully that'll be that protective boot hopefully that'll be fine I've seen, we've seen him in that before when he's he's kind of done his ankle um, hopefully he'll be alright because he'll be key again for Watford next week but um, Jimmy Julius came on magnificent block Sal Byron came on was fine but um, yeah all in all hopefully those two will be fine for next week because I think we both need them both that personal, those their personalities really Brandon really did set that tone in the second half to defend properly. Um, the goal was disappointing to concede. It just it was starting to come. Everton was starting to open Norwich up a little bit more. Set piece comes in. Tim Cole doesn't punch it away, clearly. It's a fantastic finish from Richarlison. I think, think um, Eden maybe could have got a little bit closer to it, but don't take nothing away. It's an absolutely magnificent finish. And obviously, of course, it's Norwich. We've, we've, just before that goal goes in, you think, oh, half an hour, just hang on for another 10, 15 minutes and You'll be able to see this game out quite comfortably. But of course, it's Norwich. It happened away at Brentford as well when we're 2 0 up. Yeah, about half an hour of just pure panicking, nail biting moments. Like I say, apart from that, Everton had probably one chance with Gordon and Janus blocked it absolutely magnificently. But Norwich defended their box well today. Hanley, we, we heard uh, yesterday taking injections for his pain in his shoulder still. Triumphant kind of leadership performance again. Ben Gibson was decent. Everton didn't really stretch Norwich with Calvert Lewin not really fit and Rondon who's, who's probably slower than my nan uh, <laughs> it, it, they're never going to stretch stretch you so they, those kind of big uh, centre forwards Gibson and Hanley do well against hopefully next week we'll have to have a little bit of better game plan because uh, Watford have a bit more of movement and especially on the counter attack midfield today Sorensen and Lee Malou I'll be honest before the game I was thinking oh Christ that midfield is slow very very slow but Lee Malou, that was his best performance in the Norwich City shirt. Absolutely no doubt. Was everywhere, absolutely everywhere. And good on the ball today. Looked a lot more confident. A couple of shots from range, which on another day, if it bounces just in front of Pickford, gives him a lot more of problems, but they're on target. And he, he's got that that um, that kind of repertoire to be able to shoot from that range. Sorensen was a little bit quieter, kind of went around the ugly side of the game a little bit more. Um, but both of them, absolutely magnificent. They really worked hard and looked a lot better. Penny McLean missing, I thought we'd miss his legs. We didn't miss his kind of his rushed passing, which has been a big kind of theme of Norwich. Those midfielders set the tones there, both kept the ball nicely in very tight areas and, and distributed it well. That's the help of having Eder up top as well, I think, just being able to have that pace and be able to hold it up. He did so well at making it stick today. This is a huge, huge win. I think it's uh, 18th in the in the league now. I know we've played more than everyone else. And but let's be honest, at the bottom of the table, we just need more points. Don't worry about the games at hand. You can worry about that. The, 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 the cows go home but uh, yeah the points are, are, are most important and next week is huge so have that momentum Watford Drew today to Newcastle good result for us as well next week is massive if Norwich go and win, win that game then we are really really in it if not which let's be honest more often than not Norwich would probably you feel like they could bottle that let's galvanise that good feeling today get those good performances. We couldn't be in a better position after a really, really well fought and well earned win. Everton did not deserve anything from the game. Yes, they were very poor, but Norwich did very well. Uh, should have scored a third at the end. Milot Rashika just on the counter attack, hitting the post, outside of the post. It would have been three. Adam Eder had a chance as well at 2-0 where the, uh, the left-back kind of passed it straight back to him. He's not expecting it. He's back to goal. He can't really hit it first time. If he swip, Pickford does very well to come out at him, he, he kind of tries to Cruyff turn it onto his left peg. I think a, a slower reacting goalkeeper would, would kind of mean that Ida would be able to get a shot away and probably score. But he looks so much more confident and really, really kind of put it amongst them today. And massive to see because he's got the talent. We know he's got the talent. He just needs that run of games. But that first goal is a massive duck off his back as well. 
Um, seeing as Buki's quite quiet today, and Norris still scored two goals and still looked a threat when we counterattacked. That's how big Eda's performance was. So hopefully we can bring it, bring it more going forward. But yes, thankfully we've won. Take been forever since we have won in the league. November, I think it was, and scored a bloody goal. Scored two today. Everton were poor, but Norwich City massively deserved the victory. Three huge points. Hopefully it's sign of things to come for Watford next week, which is like I say, massive six points on Friday. It can't get any bigger than that for Premier League survival. Hopefully we can go there and really show again performance levels that we have today and we have a massive chance of getting getting something from it. But yeah, if you like this video, make sure you like it. Comment down below if you're buzzing about the win, who your man of the match was, all of those sort of things. And we'll see you very soon.